Once you've unboxed your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer and gone through the startup process, you'll be ready for making new things. If you want to make things that aren't already preloaded on your SD card, you'll have to use MakerBot's MakerWare. MakerWare is a brand new software developed right here at MakerBot that prepares your 3D models for being made on your MakerBot Replicator 2. If you're still using an original MakerBot Replicator, it's compatible with that too. MakerBot MakerWare is completely free and available online at makerbot.com slash makerware. Download and install it the same way you would any other software. To get started with MakerBot MakerWare, you need a 3D model in an STL or OBJ file format. You can either design your own 3D model in any kind of 3D modeling software, or you can use MakerBot's website, Thingiverse. Thingiverse.com is a community forum where people share digital designs. Most of the things on Thingiverse can be made on your MakerBot Replicator 2. And the best part? They're all free. Let's go to Thingiverse now and download a 3D model. Go to Thingiverse.com slash thing colon 12762 and download the two files Flatiron and Woolworth. Now open up MakerBot MakerWare. Click the Add button at the top of the screen. Find Flatiron STL and open it. It will show up at the center of the virtual build plate. Let's play around with the model for a few minutes and explore MakerBot MakerWare's many functions. The plus and minus buttons at the upper left of your screen allow you to zoom in towards your model or zoom out away from it. If you have a scroll function on your mouse, you can also use that to zoom in and out as well. Pressing the camera home button in the upper left will always bring you back to home view. The look button on the left side of your screen allows you to change the perspective from which you are viewing your model. When the look function is selected, you can click and drag your mouse to change your view of the model on the screen. The arrow next to the look button opens up a change view window where you can select specific perspectives. Press the back arrow in the upper right corner to close this window. With the move function selected, you can move your 3D model around on the virtual build plate. First, click your 3D model once to select it. Then click anywhere and drag your mouse around. Your 3D model will slide to the left, right, front, or back. If you need to lift your 3D model up or down, hold the shift key while you click and drag. The arrow next to the move button opens a change position window where you can move your 3D model by specific amounts. You usually want your 3D model to have one flat side sitting directly on the surface of your virtual build plate. To make sure it is on the surface, just click on platform in the change position window. It's possible to make things that aren't touching the surface of your virtual build plate, and you may have to do so if your 3D model doesn't have any flat sides. In those cases, you'll have to use supports. We'll talk about supports later in this video. The flat iron building is flat on the bottom and it's already touching the surface of the virtual build plate, so we don't have to worry about moving it up or down. With the turn function selected, you can rotate your model. Just make sure it's selected and then click and drag to rotate. The arrow next to the turn button opens a change rotation window where you can rotate your model by a specific number of degrees. With the scale function selected, you can make your 3D model bigger or smaller. Just click your model once to select it, then click and drag away from the model to make it bigger or towards the model to make it smaller. The arrow next to the scale button opens up a change dimensions window where you can change the dimension of your model by a specific mount or percentage. You can always hit reset scale if you need to get your model back to its original dimensions. For ease of use, you can always switch between the look, move, turn, and scale modes by using the short keys L, M, T, and S. Hitting the key a second time will open up the expanded window. One of the coolest things about MakerBot MakerWare is how easy it is to bring multiple objects onto one build platform. Doing this allows you to make more in less time. Let's bring the Woolworth building in. It's going to open up right in the middle of the virtual build plate. So let's make sure the flat iron building is out of the way first. Click the move button, select the flat iron building, 
and slide it to the side. Now click the Add button at the top of the screen and find the Woolworth STL file. If your Woolworth building ended up too close to your Flatiron building, select the Move function again and move it out of the way. Now, let's say we want to make both the Flatiron building and the Woolworth building bigger, and we want them to stay proportional to each other. First, we'll have to select the Scale function, and then we'll have to select both the buildings together. To do this, hold the Shift key and click on both of the models. Now, click and drag out just like you were before, or use the Change Dimensions window to scale the models by a specific amount. You can use the Shift key to select multiple objects in the Move and Turn modes as well. Now take a look at the buildings on your virtual build plate. Are they scaled and arranged the way you want them to be? Are they both touching the virtual build plate and not floating in the air or off to the side? If so, then you're almost ready for making. The last thing you should do is save your model. Click the Save button at the top of the screen. If you want to open your file in another program, you can save it as an STL, but otherwise use the Thing file format. Saving as a Thing file means the next time you open this file in MakerBot MakerWare, you'll still be able to treat each building as a separate object, moving, scaling, and turning it individually, which is often incredibly useful. Once it's saved, you can click the Make It button at the top of the screen. Select your machine and material from the drop-down menus, and then choose the quality of your build. Choosing low quality will decrease your build time, and choosing high quality will add to it. Keep in mind that at the highest quality setting, your model not only takes more time to make, but it will also take more time to slice, which is the model preparation process. You can also choose whether to add rafts or supports. Adding a raft means adding a layer of peel-away mesh at the bottom of your model. A raft can help with adhesion if you're having trouble getting your model to stick to the surface of your build plate, and you'll always need a raft when you're using supports. Supports means adding a layer of support material under any part of your model that hangs above the surface of the build plate. Our New York City Buildings model doesn't need a raft or supports. Once you've selected your build option, there are two ways to get your model to your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer. If your MakerBot Replicator 2 is already connected to your computer, you can just click Make It and MakerBot MakerWare will send the file straight to your MakerBot Replicator 2. Alternatively, you can save your file to an SD card and get it to your MakerBot Replicator 2 that way. To do this, just select Export to a File and then hit the Export button. The next window will allow you to pick a name for your file and to direct it to save to your SD card. As long as the firmware on your MakerBot is up to date, you should be using the X3G file format. Now, when you insert your SD card into your MakerBot Replicator 2, you'll be able to find your file in the Build from SD menu. Now you can make anything you want. Just be sure to watch the routine maintenance video next so that you know how to keep your MakerBot Replicator 2 running in tip-top shape.